onto this piece of deliciousness now. Netflix's latest South African original series, How to Ruin Christmas, has got the country talking. The story follows the life of Dumi Sello, who returns home and unwittingly ruins her sister's wedding plans. The star-studded cast includes Busi Lurai, Tando Tabete, and Desmond Dube, among others. The film's co-creator and executive producer, Katleho Ramapagela, joins us now to tell us more about it. But before that, let's take a look, listen. Where is my husband? I swear this is not what it looks like. What is name? It's worse. We do men no! Can't believe my sister's getting married on Christmas Day. Hi, Ma. Please. You are about to cement yourself as mommy's favorite daughter. And then marry the Black Prince Harry. Just a teaser of how to ruin Christmas. We're joined by the co-creator and executive producer, Katleho Rama Pakela. Thank you very much for joining us on this Sunday. A big congratulations to you and the team. Uh, what has the response been like for you guys? Uh, firstly, thanks very much for having me on your show. Um, yeah, the response has like, been absolutely overwhelming. Um, I'm not sure that we expected such, you know, um, a great response, but I suppose, you know, give um, something authentic and uh, people will latch on to it. So Absolutely. It's, it's been truly amazing, yeah. Authenticity, right? So uh, when we look uh, at the storyline, uh, what is it that actually inspired this? It's something that a lot of people can relate to, perhaps just the family dynamics, if not the wedding of it or the potential wedding of it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's all those ingredients. Um, we were, um, when we came up with the concept, just trying to figure out what what a South African Christmas looks like and what that means for us, because, you know, it's not, you know, we don't, we don't, we've kind of a, adopted some of the Western um, things of like uh, Santa Claus and stuff, but, you know, we don't have a white Christmas. We, uh, for us, it is Ember. Uh, that's where we are right now. Um, and we just wanted to explore how how we can bring two cultures together on screen and and just cause chaos, I suppose. Um, and the perfect fit was a wedding because you know all the drama happens at a wedding, um, and this was the perfect setting, you know, at December in South Africa with a wedding bringing two cultures together and see where we where we could go from there. With all of it, missing sheep, family drama, aunts and uncles bickering, including the in-laws. So when you cast uh, the people that you cast, was it obvious to you who you wanted to be part of this? Oh, no, not at all. I mean, you know, when we created the characters, we would just, you know, we, we, we tried to um, just create uh, characters that people could identify with. That you know, um, if if you, that you could you know relate to in in your own family, you might have an aunt or an uncle um, that that you would be able to see on screen. So that was just like the the blueprint of the of the series. And then you know when it came to casting, we we're very particular about who could bring the authentic. I mean, we saw we saw a lot of people. We saw uh, just judging from you know the the the. The cast that we have um it's a mixture of legends it's a mixture of newcomers you know um people that people love um and we didn't know you know everything just happened in the audition room and every time we're like oh yeah that's 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 the one that's the one that's the one um we just love how the magic comes together but no not none of the characters um or the performers were people that we had in mind in a time where everybody uh, is really feeling it, right, because of where we are uh, in our lives, curious to find out the process and when all of this started to you guys bringing it uh, on screen now. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's, it's been a weird way of working, you know. Um, this actually was born out of lockdown. Um, the entire concept, I mean, and even for us as creators, myself and uh, Ritavile, um, when, you know, when the idea came about and we, you know, started have, having to have writers' rooms on Zoom, 
um, that's that was different for us because normally, you know, we love being in a room with writers and bouncing ideas off. Now we're fighting with uh, you're on mute, you're on mute, um, um, and all the 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 things that come with with the difficulties of doing things via Zoom. Um, and even the, the shooting period itself, you know, was, was done in, in a quarantine by a bubble where we quarantined the entire crew and cast um, and, um, and shot the entire process in quarantine with them all housed together. And I think in a, in a way that kind of helped because you can see the magic on screen. It's like they were a true family and that probably comes from um, them having been together for that period and not being able to go home. So I think it was tough for everybody, but at the end of the day, you know, we got the magic that we got on screen. Quarantine of me, quarantine. Burnt Onion keeps bringing it. A big congratulations to you guys once again uh, on this phenomenal production. Well shot, great storyline, great cast. Uh, wishing you all the best, onwards and upwards. Katleho Ramapagela is the co-creator and executive producer of How to Ruin Christmas. And that's my lot uh, for the weekend.